That's That's time. Um, but getting back to, to the vice president, I mean, it, you're not sending any signals at all that his entry would be unwelcome in any way, shape, or form. Well, I think the signal that I'm trying to send is that the vice president has earned the right uh, to make a decision for himself uh, on his own timeline uh, about whether or not to pursue uh, a campaign for the presidency in 2016. Uh, and the fact is, uh, when the president chose Vice President Biden to be his vice president, uh, he described it at the time and many times since that it was the smartest decision that he'd made uh, in politics. Uh, and that's because the vice president was, has been uniquely suited for this role. He's somebody that uh, had a long career as a fighter for the middle class. Uh, he is somebody who, as the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, uh, developed uh, important relationships with world leaders uh, and has used those relationships to advance the interests of the United States. Uh, and so whether it is you know, working with leaders in Iraq or the leaders of Ukraine uh, or other countries uh, in Latin America, uh, the vice president has been a very effective advocate for U.S. interests all around the globe. Uh, that was true when he was in the Senate, uh, and that's certainly been true uh, as vice president. That gives him a very unique set of skills and experience. Uh, and it's not surprising to me that there are people who are talking uh, about this possibility. Uh, but ultimately, uh, when you have um, that kind of stature within the party, uh, you're afforded the opportunity to weigh this decision and to announce it on your own time frame. And uh, that's exactly what the vice president's doing. I know we've gone around the horn 